Yeah, I like Tangled. What about it? I'm not much of a fan of the Disney princess movies. I find them somewhat formulaic and even a little bit boring, and there's far too many of them. It seems like there needs to be one every other year now, but uh, I digress. And I feel like I was going to think the same way about Tangled when it came out, and the marketing for Tangled was not really helping it much. But in a weird way, that stupid marketing they had was kind of beneficial to it because I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed the movie. It had good humor, it had good characters, and it has what I think is Disney's best couple, Flynn Rider and Rapunzel. I really like uh, the chemistry between them. It kind of reminds me of Aladdin and Jasmine in some ways, which is one of my favorite Disney movies, despite technically being a princess movie. Also, we can't forget about Maximus. Maximus is best pony. And they announced there's going to be an animated series, and they showed a little bit of it recently, and so far, it looks pretty good. I like the character design in this. I like how they have these very subtle gradients, and I like those outlines. In fact, I think someone from Pen Zero Part-Time Hero worked on this show, because... It looks about the same style, just a little bit less exaggerated and more human proportions rather than kind of squat like most of the characters in that show look like. Hey, when's that show coming back? I should also note that some of the voice actors from the movie came back to reprise their roles, including Mandy Moore and Zach Levy as our two main leads. So the main thing people were wondering about this series was why does Rapunzel have her hair back? Because... Well, spoilers for the movie, but she gets her hair cut and she loses her powers. So people were wondering how she got her powers back, especially considering the series is supposed to take place in the time between when Rapunzel returns to the castle and when her and Flynn Rider got married. Another big change is that Rapunzel's parents have voice actors now, obviously. Now, one of the charming things about the film was that her parents, even though they didn't have a whole lot of scenes, never spoke. They allowed their emotions and their actions to, you know, speak for them. But obviously they needed to get voice actors for the series if, if this is going to be about her living in the castle now. And they got Julie Bowen and one of my favorites, Clancy Brown, to voice them. And I think they do a really good job. They also established a lot of what happened in the time since Rapunzel got kidnapped because the king pretty much just wanted to clean up the streets of his entire kingdom. He didn't want any robbers or ruffians or anything like that. And he locked up so many people and he tried to bring as much peace to his kingdom as possible because he didn't want to see anyone else get hurt like he did. And they established a lot of things like he's very overprotective of Rapunzel now. And you can tell in a very emotional performance too. This is why I said that the voice actors for the parents did a really good job. But that brings us to some new characters they brought in for the series. One of them is this thief girl that I assume is going to be a recurring villain in the series. Because when she showed up they kind of treated her like she's a big deal. She crashes Rapunzel's coronation and she tries to start a coup against the kingdom because her father was a thief that the king had locked up and they established that he may have died as a result of his imprisonment and she's very angry about that. There's also Cassandra who is Rapunzel's lady-in-waiting but she's a closet adventurer and they established early on that Rapunzel is not feeling very comfortable being in the castle because obviously she was locked up for most of her life and the idea of her being a princess and not going anywhere doesn't really sit well with her so there's a scene where her and Cassandra kind of run off just to go have fun and adventures and uh, explore things for a little while and they come across the spot where they found the flower that Rapunzel's power came from and it shows that there are all these spikes growing there that can't be broken and Rapunzel touches it and then suddenly she gets her hair and her powers back. She also freaks out about this too because she doesn't want her parents knowing about the whole thing. I, I guess she told them about it even though uh, they would not have known about her hair or anything like that. But, you know, you think you could just cut it, right? Just like they did in the series. 
But no, they established that this hair is pretty much indestructible. And there was this really funny scene of Cassandra just trying to chop it with axes. And she had uh, all these knives and things hidden away. And she was trying to cut it. And every time she would hit the hair with something, it would shatter. So, so far, this has been a pretty good start to the series. They established all these new characters. They established characters we know already, but showed them in a different light, like the parents. And they might do some exploration for Rapunzel's powers or where they came from or some kind of explanation for them or something like that. So, yeah, I, uh, I really like this so far. So far, all they've shown is a TV movie. It's called Before Ever After. I think the premiere is on March 24th, which may or may not have passed depending on when I put up this video. But yeah, I, uh, I enjoy the series a lot and uh, highly recommend it. So that's all I got for Tangled, the animated series. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. My name is Rob and hmm, I think I'm going to go get my hair done.